Hi there, um, this is Jan Hichu. We're con continuing with the videos into using IESPE as a building performance and modeling tool. We've just started talking about the building template manager and its use and how you can use the an Excel spreadsheet to document your data inputs or model inputs so that you can ensure that they're um, that it's verifiable and supported information. Um, so I won't unpack that in more detail. We'll we'll continue now with assuming that you've got it in place. In this video, we will um, I will often just simply use um, assumed um, figures just to show how you're using it. But it's obviously best practice to use verifiable data. You can choose to verify the data either by observing and reading um, or going to its space and documenting what's taking place there I mean that's important or you will use um, existing um, um, benchmarks that has been defined in order to for you to actually do comparable modeling in the end um, which otherwise otherwise it's very difficult to compare anything and to see what the performance is better or you will use um, products that are available it all depends on you'll see there's a so quite a range of things that does get input into this model in the end. Okay, so you're in your building template manager that we see here. The first thing you'll do is, like we said, it all works on templates. And you will, in this case, we'll just develop one template. But you might have a few templates in the end. So you'll say new template, and you will call this office one. Um, in this case, we will not have many, but you might have office one, egg, Air conditioned, or you have office with you know um, um, naturally ventilated, or whatever you what you would like to define. So you'll see that's the template. It now continues throughout, and you'll ultimately assign different aspects to that office one space condition. And you'll see at the bottom there's building regulations, which really is not too critical for people in South Africa. Um, you can see whether there's yeah, it's 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 not miss yeah I don't think it's relevant to, to our building regulations there's the system itself where you define the air conditioning system and the type of heating and cooling system and energy systems that are ultimately used we will define it in more detail the space conditions who uses the space um, what's the set temperature set points in there and um, ventilation and so forth then we talk about heat gain so what type of heat gains are there in the end, so thermal gains. Air exchanges talks about how much um, air movement is there in the end that you can define. And you can see not, nothing is defined at the moment. And ultimately, we can include comfort as well, where we start saying, OK, who's using the space? And um, are, you know, um, what, what would be the, the characteristics of that person? This generally would, I wouldn't mess too much with it, because we don't try and adjust the nature of thermal comfort or the user in the end too much because um, it becomes too difficult to then use any indexes because those are defined to specific parameters. Okay, so that's the basics. You'll see at the top then you can also define some specific aspects. We've now added using that little plus sign a new template. You can copy it, you can delete it and so forth. And you can import new templates from other projects. First thing you'll do then is to say, let's then define the profiles that um, that we use uh, or is used in the model. Now, profiles generally defines well nearly everything, and in many ways it it can be defined can define when we switch lights on and off, when we put air conditioning on and off, when people use the building or not. Um, it could even be used to say what would be the typical temperature that enters. Um, a system or not. We don't need to go into that much detail. In the in the built environment and architecture, we would like to know when people use buildings, when would we use equipment, and if you have an air conditioning system, you would possibly want to say when it's on or off, or whether it's off the whole time. Often we can even link that to occupancy continuously, um, but it's not quite accurate because the occupancy, like you know in Bokenda, people might use the building different to what the air conditioning systems do. Um, but either way, you're welcome to look into more detail for, for 
that. What you see here is you can define the daily profile, weekly profile, and annual profile. Those three are all interlinked, which means the annual has a number of weeks, making that up, and every week has a number of daily profiles, making it up. The others are more complex or um, not as applicable if you look at it in your own time. When I develop the profiles, I like starting with a daily profile. Um, just because it's, it, you'll see that the others reference it, but I think it's also just a good way to get started in the end. You'll see there's a number of basic profiles already defined, but none of them seem to be appropriate. So you can just simply say new. If you want to, and there's one that's, that you can use, you can just say um, copy. And you'll see at the moment, it's called new daily profile. You can define that as office occupancy or whatever home occupancy, whatever you'd like to call it. Try to keep it um, similar throughout. You can define it in the end as what it's about. It's helpful for someone else if they look at it. And um, then you'll see at the moment it says 0 and at 12 o'clock and 0 at 12 o'clock again. So that value there, the 0, 0, is actually a fraction. And it says nothing happens at, at that point. Nothing of whatever should be happening. That occupancy can define anything. Um, so zero of that is happening. If we think about occupancy, it means nobody is in that space during the whole day. You might say, okay, well, that's not really accurate because this is a weekday. It reminds me, I would actually want to define that as weekday. Um, and you can, you'll then go and say, okay, let's say, let's just say that um, on weekdays, People will be arriving at 8 o'clock. Now, um, so you'll go 8, and they all arrive all at once, and there we go, 1. 1 means 100%. Okay, 1 is a fraction of, yeah, so a fraction of that. What you see is you need to work a little bit on this, on, this, on this profile because certainly we don't all start trickling in and by, you know, it's four o'clock, half of them are there, and then everybody gets there. I mean, that's not going to help. And then once eight o'clock arrives, everybody leaves slowly again. So we'll have to add more time frames in here to define it. And we'll say, no, what actually happens is just before eight, like at 7.59, nobody's there. And then they all magically appear in the door at eight o'clock. Um, Obviously, this is modeling, so we would try to keep things simple and not add any, any, any complexity to it. We also say, well, let's say they arrive at 8, and we like to think that everybody leaves at, at 5 o'clock. So it's a long day. We don't actually do days like that. Um, you can either say 4 o'clock, but if you do add a lunch hour, and then it becomes a 5 o'clock um, time frame. So we can then say, well, they're all there till 5 o'clock, so you'll see the... The profile changes, but we, we need to change something because it doesn't all now slowly, we don't all slowly disappear until 12 o'clock at night. We will say that at 5 o'clock, everybody gets in their car and they leave or gets out of the door and they leave. So that is a, a basic structure. But you might say, uh, I don't know whether that's quite correct. We actually would like to think of a lunch hour taking place as well. And the reason for that is because people do take lunch and you'll see that that's a it's again the same principles, so um, I'll just pause the video and then we'll join again once I've defined lunch hour. Okay, welcome back. Um, this just takes a little bit of typing and planning to do, but you can see we've managed to now define that everybody comes at 8 o'clock, then they're there at between 1 and what, 12 and 1 o'clock, or however you define lunch hour. The lunch hour, there's about 50% that would be there, and then it goes back up again at 100%. And that's a typical weekday. You might then say, okay, wait a minute. We can't have seven weekdays a, day, a week. There's certainly weekends, and weekends are different. So you can say, okay, well, let's copy it. Um, and we've now made a copy of that. You can see it's still defined as similar, so you'll have to then rename it and let's say that's the weekend condition and on a typical weekend um, you can either say nobody comes through to the office or you can say you know what actually we usually have about a third of the staff coming through on a weekend um, and, the, and they usually spend time there until 12 o'clock 
um, maybe some, some people do Saturday mornings and the rest of the time you can effectively you can you can argue that the building will really be empty um, and so so you can have a weekend occupancy such as that so about 30 percent of the typical occupancies um, would, would, will be um, in the building now what this means is you can now define the occupancy at its maximum and we know that we can actually now define weekends and weekdays in the end so we say save and you can see there in the daily profiles we've got a weekday profile and a weekend profile you might even have to go and define a, week, a sunday profile as well because uh, in many many cultures and many countries we do um uh we, we do we do have sundays which nobody works at all so either way um that can become to you know that can be very a lot of detail if you want to get into that so then you go to your weekly profile you say okay weekly profile now needs to be made up of that days i've now defined and you can say let's make a new weekly profile so we could say an office week or office weekly and um again it's a modulating profile it's not an absolute so we're not defining it every day and you can see what happens now i've got the office weekly i've got monday to tuesday to thursday to friday and then the, the weekdays and i can define many things in that week i can also even define the heating and cooling days but i wouldn't do that there i think it's becomes too complex and it's not necessarily really relevant for you um and then you can say okay wait a minute I would simply drag the weekday to a Monday. So I would go and say we don't want the same profile for each day, but we might want the same profile for each weekend. And then and then we need to define the daily profile for that. Okay. Um, Okay, so what you do then is you, you'll you simply click on a day, Monday, and you can then double click on your weekday. And you can say, okay, wait a minute. Um, okay, that's the weekend, so we would rather have the weekend as such. And then we would like to have the weekday as um, something else. We would like to have a normal weekday. And there you go. Okay, so what you do is you will tick on what you are defining and then ultimately you'll see that we'll keep the weekends the same holidays are completely off and then we've got the weekday profile that's now been defined again you can define this as purely occupancy so someone else can can use it as well and you'll see there then just to recap your weekly office weekly consists out of an occupancy of weekday from monday to friday and then your weekend has then been defined as well. And you can save it. And there you go, you've got your office weekly now defined. Now you can go to your annual profile and you can say, okay, now my office annual profile needs to be defined. And again, you will give it a new name, office annual. You can again give it the category occupancy. And here we can go and we say, okay, wait a minute, what weekly profile do we have? We know we've got Office Weekly. And here you can actually change it if you wanted to. You can see here the end month is the 31st of December. Now what you can do here is you can insert and you can say, okay, wait a minute, actually from December the 16th, we actually have a or up to December the 16th, we've got a um, a normal weekly program pro profile, and maybe you would have then defined a, a holiday weekly profile. So maybe then a third of the staff comes in for 16 days, for that 40, 15 days that's left over of that month. Um, again, you can define it if you want to. It's 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 you can add a lot more detail in the end. So you can remove that as well. And now at the moment, the occupancy just is a full year single def, um, definition and and again th this is the basics of a profile um this like i said the profile can be for many things in the end and, and you can you'll see that we can define it in the end 
you can decide that, that in the office the air conditioning switches on two hours beforehand every day so then you have to go and make a special profile for the air conditioning system you can simply save it and there you go you've got your first weekly profile available we will use it later um, but it's just a good process to go through okay so this is the first of a number of the, the building template manager videos um, good we'll see you in the next video